Meredith, thank you very much. Our first guest here on Fox 11 today is beauty expert Emily Oliver. She's here this morning with us and she has the hottest spring trends in makeup. Claire Anderson is outside right now with her and Claire, what are those trends? Oh, Joe, it's all about color because it's just about uh, it's springtime, almost summertime, and I am here with Emily Oliver. Now, she's our resident beauty artist, and she's actually been away for a little bit. Emily, you've been doing some exciting stuff. I first want to talk about that before we get to uh, the other beauty trends. Tell me a little bit, where have you been? I actually had the most amazing opportunity to go and do fashion weeks in both New York and Paris. So I've been traveling the world, making people feel beautiful, and just finding out some of the newest like tips and tricks that we can bring back to the States. Perfect. So she knows her stuff. She's been all over the world. So tell me, what are we talking about today? So today I wanted to show you versatility. I wanted to show how to take one lipstick and use it three different ways. So you could also translate this to a morning, afternoon, and night look just okay, in like a couple them. steps. Yeah, so it's super easy. This is fun because it's a L'Oreal Pop Balm in number 440. Okay, so this is something you can just get at your drugstore. I mean, this is, this is anywhere. Like, yeah, it's like $5. It's super inexpensive. It's a little bit of a ripoff from the Sheer Candies by Yves Saint Laurent, which I love. So what I want to do first is show you the first way. Okay. First way is what we're totally used to doing every single day of our lives. If you're a woman and you've used lipstick, what you're going to do is just slide this on. The reason I like this is because a balm is actually lighter than a lipstick. Okay. When you apply it like this, it's just going to give that flush of color. And P.S. Coral is everything right now. So I'm using kind of like a pinky coral to make sure that it really pops on the face. It looks nice because you can see just a little bit, but not too much. This is the first way to wear it, just kind of an everyday thing. Yes, exactly. So next, one of the biggest trends I saw were pastels. Okay. So how do you get a pastel if you don't have a pastel lip? Oh. Everyone carries a concealer or a touch up mm -hmm. in their purse, right? So what you can do is just take a little bit of your concealer, go ahead and throw it on your finger. I'm going to use a brush on and your... go ahead. Uh -huh. And I'm going to pop this onto her lip. On her lip. That's interesting. You know, I'm, we always are taught concealers, you know, you put them on your red spots, you put them on your eyes, but you're actually putting it on your lip. And yes. what does that do? So what it does is it's actually going to create a barrier for when I apply this lip, it's going to make it a little bit brighter and a little more of that nudie pastel look. So this is step one. Okay. Next, I'm just going to take a little lip brush. Now here's where the key is. You have to use a lip brush for this because otherwise when you're working with concealer, the concealers can be a little bit heavy. You also want to use a creamy concealer. Okay. But then when I pop this on, you're going to see how different does this look based off of wow, the first one? Wow, it is one. so much brighter just <laughs> using the concealer, using the little bit of the lip brush and the brushes, you can really get anywhere, right? Oh gosh, yes. You can get anyone from Echo Tools at Target for like $2 or you can go all the way high into Chanel for more like $30, $30 a brush. Wow, this is and this is easy because if you've been wearing this all day and then you want to go out and make it a little bit brighter, leaving from work, you can just put a little concealer on and then put it back on because it, we have this in our purse. Oh, exactly. Perfect. What, so what I want to do is take her into the third look, which is actually going to be adding more. Oh gosh, okay, I know. perfect. Because we have one more minute left to oh, kind of talk about our um, last beauty trend. So what you're doing for the third step, tell me you're putting a lot on it. A There's lot a lot on. on this brush. There's a lot on this brush. Wow. And this is going to be really fun for nighttime. Mm -hmm. Or pretend that you're having, you know, a little get together after work. You don't really have time to change your makeup. I like to do practical tips and tricks. And I think that this is a really fun way to take your look from day to night without spending a ton of time lips together for me. And it's a moisturizing thing too. So it's not just a stick. Cause I think sometimes people gets really dry, but this yeah. looks, and it looks just like a lipstick. It totally does. And that's the fun thing about products is a lot of times they're marketed a certain way, mm -hmm. but in the beauty industry, we're used to using them in a multitude of different ways. Great. And how does it feel on you? It feels very smooth and creamy. It feels like it is a lip balm. Like it's really yes. moisturizing my lips. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> I, I love this color. Well, Emily, what's the last step? We have just a few seconds left. Last step now. If you're at home, you can go ahead and just add an extra coat, but since I'm a makeup artist, I'm going to use a lash fan, and I'm actually going to pack this onto her lashes. Great! So, what this step is, is it's just kissing that coat, and what this does is it actually lifts the lashes super sky high, and you have to take a look at that difference. Go okay, ahead so forward. the main beauty trends we're learning for this spring is going into these pastel colors, bright colors on your lips, lots of mascara. Uh, Emily, thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to have you back. Thank you. And um, you can find all of this at your local drugstore, and we will have this online as well.